Welcome to this video on a couple of new views in Microsoft Teams. So I work in Microsoft Teams daily. It stores all of my content, whether it be professional or personal or freelance or anything else. And they're making lots of changes to it. And there's a couple of new little functions that I've found that I think are quite useful to just help you quickly find what you're looking for to help you manage your teams, to help you be more productive and things like that. So let's go ahead and have a look at these two quick things we're going to go for. And first we're going to go into chats and I'm going to head into my chats and I've not got a massive amount on this account, but in the top right hand corner, you'll see the information pane the chat details pane, you can open it with Alt and P as well. I am on a Windows device just in case that shortcut is slightly different for you on a Mac. And when I open it up, it's just going to give me all of the information quickly to hand that's in that chat. So if I've pinned any messages, any documents and links that have been shared will show there. And obviously it depends what type of chat it is, if it's a one-to-one, -one, if it's a group or if it's a meeting chat, then you might see different types of content. So let's just go into a meeting chat to have a look at the differences. And you can see here, I've got a quick meeting chat. I've got a recording that I can see on the screen. I can see who is in this chat. And then I've not got a really massive amount going on, but you can see I've got all the different support options there to help me find what I need to. So if there was any content shared in this meeting, I'd be able to see it there there is anything else I would be absolutely able to see it and it's a quick snapshot of what is going on in your your chats whether they be like I said individual group or meeting rather than having to scroll find things in different places you can go ahead and use this chat pane and also you'll notice there's a little find icon so you can go in there and just search for what you want as well and it'll look in this chat only so really really nice quick way of just finding some useful things and then going on to your next project the other one i want to talk to you about is in teams so if i open up teams on the left hand side and obviously you know i can go in and manage all of my teams individually by opening them up i have some hidden teams there i have teams with quite a few channels in them some hidden channels maybe in some of my teams. Some pe some teams might have more than one person accessing it. Other teams might just be for me. But I can do all of that, but it's a bit painful. So what you can also do now, if you go to the top of the Teams panel on the left-hand side, you've got three dots. Whenever you see three dots in a Microsoft application, there's more functions hidden behind it. So if I click on those three dots, you've got your Teams and Channels. And if I select that option, it's going to show me all of the teams that I have access to, whether I'm the owner or whether I'm a member of that team. And you can see they're all listed there and the status of them. So I can see the type, the public channels. I can see how many people have access to them. So if you manage a team, you can see there that you've got X amount of people on there. You can see how many channels are sat within that team and you can see the titles and you can see that I'm the owner if I was a member that would say member on the right hand side and then you've got some tabs at the top as well so I've got teams I own which is all of them and I've got some more as well so teams with channels hidden teams with channels shown and archive teams and you've got some sorting options as well so you've got loads of really nice bits of just a quick snapshot of what is going on in all of your teams you can see in the top right hand corner, you have the create team option or the join team. So you can do that from here as well. So you can have a look and see if you've got one that works for you or whether you need to create a new one or find one that someone else has already created. And you will also notice at the top, your analytics is also there. So you can see what's been going on. There's not a lot of data in this one. I'm going to switch to 90 days and see I've got just a small amount of data on this account that I'm using to do this quick demo. So not a massive amount going on there. If I hover over these teams, though, again, I get a free dot menu towards the right-hand side. So let me go on to one of the, let's do this to one and do the free dots. And then you can see you've got the same options that you have when you manage them on the left-hand side. You can hide your channels. You can add members, add channels, manage your team, manage your tags, get your links, leave the team, delete the team. It's just hidden slightly below the screen recording. So you can do all of those 
processes right here in one go. So you can just do a quick management of your team. So if like me, and this is probably a good example of only a few teams I've got, but I definitely have other accounts where I have a ton of teams on there, some that I own, some that I'm a member of, and every so often you just need to do a clean up so that your your teams just does not get too overwhelming and you can really focus on the work that you need to do. So this is maybe a great way to go in and have a look at all that stuff and then you can use any of these actions to do what you need to do. If I click on that one, you'll see there I have, again, more options here where I can manage my channels individually within that team. So you can see the two channels I've got there. You can see some details about when it was last active, the visibility of that channel within the team. And then you've got the the usual channel options as well there. So you've got some, you can use these to get the links, get the email, rename the channel, archive it, all that sort of great stuff. And you can even go in there and add a new channel if you need to. So you've got similar sort of function functionality going on there. So if you just if you've just got a bit of a mess going on in your teams at the moment, then absolutely use this option to come in there and just manage all of them. Make sure you're only seeing the channels and the teams that are relevant to the work that you're doing. It'll be really it's a really nice way to just clean up and make it just nice, just work for you, which is great. You can see at the top, I can see my members, I can see settings. Mine's quite zoomed out or zoomed in, so it might not see everything, but you've got three more options as well, analytics, apps, and tags. So you can go into that team, into the channels, or into more detail in that team, just to really make sure you've got it set up the way you want to. And then obviously I'd just come out and do the same for the rest of them as I have a number of teams I'm working with. So one to have a play around with, have a go, have a look at. Remember, you've got the pane on the chat and that one is on the right-hand side. So you've got the details pane where you can search, where you can see pinned items, shared items, etc. And that will be different depending on what type of chat is it. And then if you want to set up and manage and organise your teams, a really great way to do that all in one go is the three dots in the top left and your teams and channels where you can go and dive into all of that really great detail. Okay, have a go with that one. See what works best for you. Set up your teams to be super productive so that you can really focus on your actionable items. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.